Welcome back to Grey Squadron Gaming. We have another exciting episode in our Star Wars Legion Battle Report series. We have some new things on the mat tonight. Very new. Big show. Not yet new. Time of recording. Oh, time of show. No, it will be. Yeah, they will not be out the yet. The embargo though. date will be lifted so we can show yes, you guys. Yes. But uh, anyway, so thank you so much for Tommy Mass Games for sending these. Uh, hopefully, you guys also watch us because if so, I just want to say thank you. If not, um, let them know we thank them, someone. I'm sure close personal friends of Atomic Mass Games watch our show. I hope so. Um, so I am. I brought an army around the Clone Commandos. I only have one right now because we got one, which is plenty. So thank you, AMG. And when they come out, I'll buy a couple more to have a full. So I thought I'd bring the uh, the Delta Squad configured. I know they're painted as just classic Commandos because that's what I like to paint them as. But this is going to be Delta. And you know what? Maybe, I don't know if it's been spoiled yet. So maybe I should take a hot second to show the card. This is Delta's card. Let me just get in focus here for you guys. There you go. Complete the mission. You guys know what that does. They have equipped the Katarn power, Pattern Armor, Infiltrate, Independent Recover. That's a difference between the regular ones. Recharge 1, Target 2 is also up from Target 1 on the regular Commandos. Shield 1, you'll notice they have Infinite Courage, and instead of a Black White, they have a Black Black at range 2. Other than that, they're like the Commandos. Oh, and they have an extra slot here right there, too. 100 points, 75, so 25 points more for them. Pretty awesome, though. I went ahead and equipped their armor, which if you don't know what the armor does, it's armor. No, it's not really armor. It's uh, when this unit would be assigned more than one wound from a non-melee attack, you may expend this card, assign that unit one wound instead. It's a one-time use. The config is either two blacks with impact one each or scatter, and the other side is two reds with high velocity, lethal one. Um, the whole pool against lethal one, high velocity. So one red each, be four reds. And they can flip it for free at the start of their turn. And then I have Clone Cam Commander Cody naked with him. I have one phase two with a Z6, another phase one with a Z6, a phase one with fives, arc trooper strike team with echo and prepared supplies, an ATR2 with a laser cannon, and I ran a saber tank because it's been a little bit with Ayla, high energy shells, link targeting ray, and the twin laser turret bringing me, I believe, at 797. But before we go any further, the reason we get to get this stuff from AMG early and show off and do an unboxing, by the way, if you haven't watched the unboxing, that was done just a couple days ago. Go check that out. It's because you guys watch us, you subscribe to us, you comment, you like, you share these videos out. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it, right, Don? We sure do. Really appreciate our Patreons. Your Patreons, you help us put out the content at the speed we put it out. So thank you so much for supporting us and everything you do. You help us get better camera, better lighting, better editing software. Everything else goes into this. You guys help with that. So we thank you so Not much. Not that, but paint, primer, minis. <laughs> yeah, you guys really help keep the channel. Afloat. Those are also very important. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit. Uh, so thank you. So a big shout out to the Commander Patreons. Huge thanks to our Commanders, Jamal Alwahadi, Alex Bingham, Anthony Minerva, Paul Jorgensen, Jess David, Arkan Dan, Michael Hume, Jason Tatro, Evan Christensen, Jacob Bleeka, Ryan and Peyton Archer, Thunderbound, Thomas Trotman, Gregory Williams, Eli Arthur and Walton Kaywood, Anthony Minobo, Flobit, Anthony Hosking, Ethan McKinney, Grant Sonier, Sozo, Grim War Gamer, Jabra75, and Big Woody. Huge thanks to you guys. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. If you are interested in giving a little more support other than that subscribe button, which you should all hit right now, if you haven't, please do. Uh, go ahead and check out our Patreon. You get a bunch of extra goodies, extra entries into all our giveaways. It gets you more goodies. All that jazz. Yeah, we'll show the goodies in a second, but all the goodies are from Worlds, and they will be for the next few giveaways because we got hooked up thanks to Will Schick from AMG giving us all the giveaways for you guys. Um, so you saw my new unit is in play, which means Don, spoiler, he has the range troopers in play this game. Let's go take a look at him. That's why you brought armor. <laughs> <laughs> I brought lots of <laughs> non-armor troopers as well. All six of them. All right, and so my gift from AMG was the range troopers. So you see them in the front there. I also uh, bought a set from Skullforge and printed them myself. Before have, we knew we were getting before them. Before we knew we were getting them, I bought these so that we could try to get them on the channel sooner. Which ones um, which, real quick, so before we show your list? These purple ones in the back, those are the Skull Forge ones. Um, they, it was my first time ever 3D printing myself, so there's a couple of them that kind of get issues and screwed up, but they look good enough to play on. Um, but the ones in front are the awesome ones from AMG. They look great. I actually put a lot of time into painting them. For me, I mean, it, Joe, oh, yeah, for Joe you, you painted did. one model in the time I painted all of those. But for me, I, I put a lot of effort, great. so they, they do look pretty good. Um, but I brought Aiden with her repeater and offensive push and the ID-10. Uh, then I have two units of the range troopers, both of them with the T-21A suppressive gun. I have Inferno Squadron, because you don't ever leave home without them, with Aiden, uh, with just Gideon and Dell. Um, two units of Death Troopers with their config and the DLT-19, and then three units of Stormtroopers with the DLT-19. 
that puts me in at 796, so I will be blue player. So what you're saying is this is like a, a very extra range gun line. Thing. All the range and all the suppression. Yep. yep. We'll see if it if it works. Welcome to Flip or Pass, starring your favorite host with the mostest, Don Salking. Flip or Pass. The Flipper Passer. And his co-host, Joe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most modest Joe I've ever heard. Uh, I'm going to flip payload. Payload's flipped. Okay. Okay. Key positions. Um, long March. Career conditions of warrior. Let's give it a long March. I'm not, I'm not feeling that one with that rangey list you got going on. Don't talk about my list like that. Nice battle lines would be pretty decent, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we'll get rid of Sabbath. There are key positions. You want to play the VAPs, huh? It's not, it's not a bad idea because I don't have as many units as I do, but I do have something to complete the mission. I can just chill on one of those and just, you just hate it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I like battle lines for this one, to be honest. I think I want to be able to take a little bit of that range advantage away best I can, at least. So we're going to do sabotage, battle lines clear. Push all this to the side for a second. Let Don deal with that. Giveaways. This was one of the swag bag from World of From Adepticon. It's Geonotions. I'm passing it on to one of you lucky viewers. Comment below to get entered in. The actual world's prizes, we've got the Alt Art Geonosis. Check those out, pretty cool. We have a Yoda, which we've seen before, but was also given out worlds. And probably the coolest one in this drop, at least so far, we have lots more foils to give away, is the Foil Bosk Lying in Wait card. Very cool. Um, comment below to get entered in all of these. I'll probably throw in some Curl Paw tokens too, because Curl Paw is awesome, and I got more tokens to give away. Which means you guys get more stuff to have. Listen for the keyword of the day to get double entries. Sometimes the keyword's not to the end of the video, so if you we haven't heard it, it's probably back there. If you watch the end, even bonus points for you. Big shout out to Gift Games. Gift Games is a locally owned game store. Is everything Gift Games is a locally owned game store would expect to have. I don't know if I said real words there or not, but Gift of Games, check them out below. They ship everywhere. Welcome to round one. We're here with Assault. Three units, classic. I went with air support. That's one commander or heavy. At the end of the round, or excuse me, at the end of the activation of a friendly clone commander or a friendly field commander unit, it may perform the following attack. That one right there. So I can... What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don's reminding me I have direct. I know. I just haven't got it out yet, apparently. So I give my order to Cody, who's there. I'll give an order to my tank as well with direct. I have the phase twos here. Echo and the phase ones, the blue ones here. The orange phase ones with the Z6 here, and our clone commandos, new ones here. Apologies for not finishing their basing. They're still all white brimmed. They'll be black brimmed soon. No, it's not acceptable. The, I was joking with Don, like, as we play, we'll see this crackle look better because it's still drying. <laughs> They're fresh. They're fresh, guys. Uh, Echo did uh, Scott up, and same with the ATRT. He's got Rage Trooper, Death Trooper, Aiden, Special Force. I mean, Special yeah, Forces. Special Force. Death Inferno Trooper. Squadron. They're called Special Force, too, right? Yep. They're just a named version. Aiden. Range, storm, storm, storm. One of his, the other one's here. I put my lovely token there. So you guys let us know in the comments because they're not yet, but my assumption is it's like any other token in the game where you can't you can't step on it. Yeah, it's it's a little annoying. So let me know if that's right or wrong. If not, it won't change much. But I want to put it there for the offensive potential to use my range four gun with them. I thought that'd be fun to have the critical two always, and I feel like he has to go around that point. So I did that. And then my two are here and here. So we've got a nice little battle line going on. Let's see how this goes. Independent recover would kick in to recover my commandos, but offensive push and their gun is not tapped and their shield is still up, so they don't have to recover anything at the moment, which is nice. I get to go first. We're going to start off right with... Okay, so we're going to start with Cody, but before I do that, um, the gaming mat today is from Gray Matter Gaming. They sponsor all our videos for the mats play. So this lovely cracked orange earth that looks kind of genius. I like it a lot. This is the one we're using Just today. like his basics. The rest of the terrain is majority of my old terrain that I uh, printed, painted, modeled, so I wanted to use it. This, though, this awesome down gunship is from my other sponsor, Legion Train, as well as oh, all the little scatter yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, so I want to give them a shout out. Also, Curled Paw, we mentioned the tokens make these awesome tokens. They have bounty tokens, every token for the game. If you need a holder for it, J Squared has holders for the a curled paw. We also have holders for cardboard. We have holders for the template with the dashboard you guys see every beginning around. Yep. Forgot to mention that. Okay. We will so. definitely be messaging him to make a uh, fancy acrylic version of that token as well. So Cody's going to go first. Here he sure. has an aim from target. He's going to take his aim for his first action and bring it up to two. Sure. He's going to take cover five as his unit here so that way he can have a dodge for Always the clone brothers. Share them tokens. That's the end of his activation. So now he's going to do the air support. Sure. And we're probably going to need to shoot 
We'll probably go boom, boom, boom with the beam. All righty. Okay, so we're gonna shoot the standard stormtroopers in the purple and then beam over into the range troopers and new ones. I have two aims, a red, black, black. I searched to crit. And he has heavy cover for the first shot against the stormtroopers. So one crit will get... Yeah, we'll do that one crit. One crit through the cover there. They are going to lose a stormtrooper. This will be the purple stormtroopers. Oh, three. Oh, two go to cover. I mean, it's still two to cover, so I'm thinking about spending a name because otherwise why do I have all these games? Let's spend the name. Let's see if we can get another crit. Nope, so just one crit still. All right, he'll block that one. And the last one gets the armor one light cover range troopers. Sure. We're going to spend the aim on... I guess it doesn't have any crits. Let's win the aim on both these. So armor one, light cover takes away two. Still, still ends up with one. Okay, dead range trooper. I'm gonna start with the purple death troopers here. Uh, they are in range of um, Echo. Is that Echo? Yep, that's Echo. Echo. So Echo. We, will, uh, we will aim and shoot him. And Echo. Echo. Alright, so our DLT is gonna be two, two reds and one white. And then we have four black suppressive. Heavy cover on the arc. And one aim token. Also precise two. Um, but we only have two non hits here. Let's oh, no. the aim. We'll get one more. Cover is going to eat two. You're looking at four. I'll spend my prepared supply dodge to bring it down to three. Down to three. And I have a surge token here from Reliable if I want to spend it, which I will if it rolls a surge. We'll spend it so that way Echo stays fully health, but he loses his good old buddy. Alrighty. Okay, we got my stack. It's weird to say, but this is the ATRT or the commandos because commandos are support units. It's weird with the support. It's going to take a little bit of Super support that. is interesting. I, I like it. Um, okay, so we're going to come up and we're going to move him to kind of shield him. Oh, okay. Because he's getting hit through that little archway. So I'm going to try to get in the way. So I can just move the damage from this thing. So that way people can't see him through this at least. We'll actually turn him the whole way in. So he's touching it. And then that way that no one gets covered from the shot. And then we will shoot the death troopers that just... Mm, think about shooting the special force. You know they have a dodge and nonsense. But they'll have no cover from this shot. So maybe make you spend the dodge? Yeah, let's shoot this. Let's shoot the Inferno. Okay. All right, two blacks to red. Impact won't matter for this attack. He does search to hit natively. Let's see what happens. No cover. It's going to be two. We're going to spend the dodge? Sure am. Down to one. You're fine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go with Inferno then. They have one suppression from being shot at. They're going to hold on to it, but that's okay. They've got courage three. Fortunately, so you see that little, like, step right yeah. here? He can see me still through that, apparently, so, yeah, so my we're just plan gonna, was thwarted. We're going to move up just into range three here. We'll take a shot. We'll see what happens. Okay, Echo. Hang tough, buddy. All right, so this is going to be two reds uh, for Gideon, two blacks for Dell, two blacks for unnamed Infernal Squadron person who's definitely not the person in the book. And uh, you have heavy cover. Uh, we surge hit. So it'll be so two. These will go away. Cover's going to take away two, but you're, I think, a lot of tricks. I am. I need at least one one block here. He, or Echo's down early. Oh, oh, guys, that hurts. That hurts. Okay, we're going to go with Tank. He just saw one of his good, good friends. Oh, Ayla's Inspire, too. I don't think that has anything to inspire at the moment. She's on there, and she's a field commander. None of that matters right now. Okay. Nope. Just making sure. So we're going to move up, too. I don't think we're going to go the whole two because that puts me like that. <laughs> I just want to kind of, I want to come on the very first lip, you know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. Kind of like that. That way I'm just touching it. That's the idea here. Sure. Okay. Okay. Gun-wise, we've got them boys. Well, maybe we do want to go on it more. Because <laughs> you have a range three gun? Yep. I was trying to stay back, but I guess there's no point in staying back when the person you're playing has range 50. Let's go ahead and shoot for our second action. I think we're going to shoot, I was going to shoot item just out of three, so I think we're going to shoot everything into these boys. All right. Joe does love to kill any new unit I ever bring before they do anything. So let's see what happens. I'm change my mind a little bit. I still have shells not tapped because it's the first turn, obviously. So I'm going to actually shoot Iden at range four because the main gun is two reds, two blacks, two whites, critical with one impact, two um, into her. And I'll throw some energy shells, which is two reds and a white. Yep. Let's see what we get. I have one aim. She got light cover and a shield. Light cover and a shield. It's a good start. We do have critical two, so I can critical. We'll definitely do both of the whites. That makes sense. And then we'll re-roll the one white and one red. With the aim. Ooh, double blank on the red. That's okay. We'll lose one. I'm going to guess you're spinning a shield. Absolutely. Okay, so you're spinning a shield. So you're still looking at a total of five getting through. It's a good swing. It's a good tank shot. It depends what your defense dice do back. 
Not great. Not great. Not great. Three damage on it. And we're going to go to the stack here. We got a support, which is only troopers for me. We're going to go over here to these guys. They are just going to move. Are they spurring? They are not going to spur. Oh, we don't need to, to go flying anywhere here. So they're going to just move up slightly here. So we can see our ATRT friend. And then we will uh, we'll, uh, put a shot into him. We're actually going to move out a little bit just so we. He's changed his mind. He's gonna get nope, his, nope. He's back. He's going to get heavy cover no matter where. He I would said have to spur two hops again. to the left now, y'all. Yep. Cha cha cha. All right, so it's four blacks for our regulars, two blacks and two whites suppressive, which doesn't do anything to our ATRT. Uh, for our heavy, um, it's a heavy cover ATRT shot. I'm just fishing for crits. Here. Get two, three. Three. Three's not a bad three. fish. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that. Well, that's a good fish. I surged a block on these. We'll see how this goes. We did block one, taking two, though. More than he thought he was going to get through. That's for, for sure. sure. All right, we got a core. So since Echo decided to not show up today to play, we're going to have to... Alter our idea a little bit here. Sure. So we're just going to start running them up a little bit here. Alrighty. Which is not what I wanted to do with my orange 212th, but sometimes, guys, you got to do what you don't want to do. That's very true. It's very true indeed. I go to the stack here. It's the other support unit. So they have one suppression. They're indomitable, so they roll res, and they hold on to it. Don's choosing not to show you yet, but they do have a cool ability when if they're if they're about to declare an attack of the, a trooper they shoot units, a trooper, so they get a free aim, but he's yes. not done that yet. But I'm not going to move them up to be shot at by all your That's troopers fair. yet. So we're just going to take an aim with them, and then we're just going to fish for some crits into the tank and see what happens. Here's what happens if you move into a clone ball. Yes, Go I, see our episode, a couple episodes I've, back. With I've Dark learned Troopers. many things about that, but yeah, we're going to do that. All right, so again, we've got two whites, two black suppressive, which won't matter, and then three black for the remaining regular range troopers. I do have an aim this time, and we're shooting a tank. Uh, we got one crit so far. We'll spend the aim to reroll these two. No more crits, so just one for the tank. One is much more reasonable for me. You're fine. We're going to go with our commandos here. Good old. Good old Delta. Uh, they're going to tap. Delta Squad's going to tap offensive push before they do this move so that way they get a free aim. Why wouldn't you? I mean, with independent recover, why Why wouldn't you? One of the more entertaining independents, for sure. I like that the new independents are coming out with lately. We're going to turn this as much as we can. I think we are. I'm going to take. A, I'm going to measure this first before I turn this. So let's see. Am I in range of Z Storm Troopers? Oh, yeah. By a lot. So, yeah, we're going to come back just, just a nub to make sure I'm still in range. Okay, we're gonna stay there. I'll reco here and we'll fire into the purple front troopers. All right, let's do it. They are within range one of complete the mission, so I do have critical two for this shot. I'm using the range configuration or the sniper, whatever it's called, the long range one. It's one red each, so four reds. The dice pool itself gains high velocity and lethal one. I have an aim. Let's see what happens. And critical two. I said that complete the mission gives critical two. Okay. So right now, it would be two pierce one with lethal. Or I risk... No, we're definitely going to... We're going to let those drop to cover, spend the aim to make it lethal, and do two Pierce 1 on these Makes guys. Makes sense. Didn't even need the Pierce. Didn't even... We're going to go over here to the Stormtroopers here. I think what we're going to do... Kind of changing my mind on the fly here. So we're going to move this direction towards our VAP. Uh, we're going to take a shot into the tank, though. Um, so one move, one shoot? That. One move, one shoot. Okay. Perfect. All right, so I got two reds for our DLT, four whites for our regular Trump Troopers. The DLT has impact one. I'm also shooting into his sides, which was weak spot one. So impact two on this shot. They kind of have heavy, heavy cover. cover if you roll yeah. really bad. But... Uh, it is really bad, so this will go to cover. So yeah, actually, so it did save surge, me a but impact. you're looking for one. Get all the impact can use it. We do take a wound, though. Yeah, all our plants have kind of been rewritten with that with that early echo kill. Really, really, really set me on the wrong foot. So let's move him there. Five is going to have to do what Fives does. He can't get there in one move, which is or two moves, which is nice. So he'll be touching that with a little room to spare. Sure. So let's have him touch that little Rico here, and that's that's him. Double move Rico here. All right, we're going to go to the stack here. It's the other core unit, the slightly healthier version. They only have one suppression. They're going to roll it off, which is really nice. We are going to move right up here. Uh, I'm not going to move again this round. We're just going to move up, and we'll, we'll pop a shot into the tank for fun and see what okay. happens. Just a quick correction on an earlier comment. You can overlap that token if he wants to. He's completely fine. It's objective tokens and supply and things of that nature. Not, this is completely fine to overlap. So before he goes and shoots me, just wanted to clarify that. All right, so this is two reds, three whites, only impact one for this shot. Tank's still going to benefit from the cover, but what are you going to do? Uh, so cover's not going to stop everything, so it's just going to crit one after cover takes away these two. Take another wound. Okay, and my last thing is going to be this core here. 
the no, beast that juice. last token right there. That's the dead echo. No, that's dead echo. He was he was dead last. <laughs> See what I did there? That was that was weak sauce, sir. What do you mean? That was, that was like the sauce. best dad joke I've, I've said tonight. Oh, I'm glad you're happy about it, sir. I don't know what to do with this other guy. I'm thinking about. You really only have Aiden left to shoot besides those death troopers way over there. So I think yeah, maybe we uh maybe we get a little more guts with these guys. They can't really get a shot anyway, I don't think. So let's oh, let's move them up as far as I can. We'll take a range measurement real quick. Sure. I doubt they're in range three of anything good. Nope. Clearly not. Nope. So then with that, we're gonna go to the original plan, which was a double move. Operation run away. Sometimes we pre-measure, sometimes we do it on the fly when we don't sometimes. know what we want to do. All right, so we're going to go over to these Death Troopers here. They're going to aim and shoot into the uh, orange phase ones over there that moved up, and uh, see what happens. Imperial range gun line, outranging my range clone troopers. All right, so you know that you love it. It's four blacks, two reds, one white, suppressive into heavy cover clones. Um, a surge to hit, so these will be hits. We will spend that aim on our lone red. Double blanks on the red. Are you kidding me? I have that happen too, but, but you literally hit with every other dice. So. That's true. Uh, <laughs> you're looking at four then for these clones, and they are well out of range to share any tokens. Man, you're off into dice Mwah, so far today. It's good stuff, bro. I don't even care. Oh, oh. oh. insult to injury. I was though. complimenting you legitimately. It wasn't even a smart you were, part. You were. And my dice were like, just... Karma was like, you know what? I heard Karma is your girlfriend. I heard that too. Hey no. No? Okay. I'm holding my hand up for high five and no. Don walked away. I was just giving you the visual there. Mr. Clean, get back here. Going to sec here. It's our Hurt Stormtrooper boys here. They have two suppression. They'll roll one of them off. They only get one action. Um, they'll just fish for a crit into the tank and see what happens then. Fishing, fishing for crits. In a tank, let them up, let them down, roll them up, roll them down, roll them for crits, look for crits on the ground. Fishing for crits, rawhide. The stuff I have to put up with for your entertainment, sir. You just smile and laugh two reds, all night. Two whites, impact one, heavy cover tank. Unless shot. Morton comes and says hi. Uh, unfortunately, cover's gonna eat that up, so it's just gonna Even be. Even cover. Oh, because your impact. So, impact so man, one, sitting yeah. on that rock was a good idea. Yep. It's a good rock. Last in the stack is Aiden. It's Aiden here. She's got one suppression on her. She'll hold on to it, but that's okay. Well, she has courage so three. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move. We're gonna move this way. Let me make sure I'm not going too crazy. Yeah, we're gonna move over here just to get her out of direct or no cover, and then we're gonna recover for her second action to pop that shield back. He doesn't like me now to three wounds and no shield, so I get it. The yeah. tank goes right there. That ends the round. Tank moved up, pretty good shot, and unfortunately Echo fell early, so my clones had to adjust and shift this way to start working on their objectives. No one touched an objective. Did lose Echo, and you lost, what, like three stormtroopers, a ranged trooper, and a couple wounds died, and so, you know, yeah, not too crazy of a round. Let's go to round two. Here we go, we have Tactical Strike from Aiden. Oh, this is also, this is one of the cards you got it's from the Adepticon. Shiny. Oh, I like it. It's shiny. If you guys like this, look look for the it's future cut a video. possible giveaway. It might be a giveaway in a future cut video. Anyways, uh, Aiden Verso and two tro or three troopers. Sorry, I forgot how good this card is. When Aiden Verso or a friendly special force unit that has a face of order token activates, it may reduce its maximum speed by one. If it does, it gains steady and tactile. What a great card that is. <laughs> Four <laughs> orders. I want to synchronize offensive. It's one vehicle. When a friendly vehicle unit is issued an order, it may issue an order to a friendly clone trooper at range one and two of it, which I also think is a great one, Pip. I directed the tank from our good buddy, um, Cody. I went ahead and gave the order itself to ATRT, who gave it to fives, and then fives coordinated over to the phase twos. So that's why I got my tokens over here. Independent recharge kicks in, which means I have offensive push and their config back retapped, which is really, really nice on the, on the Delta squad. So that's kind of fun to have. And, uh... Yeah, I get to go first. Oh, he gave his orders over here to, of course, Aiden, then the three special forces. Why wouldn't you? It's like a Aiden, Aiden's punk rock band. It's kind of her thing, yeah. Aiden and the special forces. We're going to start with the tank. We had a couple options here. We could have just moved up to about just our lip here. To That would be range three of Miss Aiden Verso, because we got to aim ready for link targeting range direct. But, reversely, this this rock's been giving me some good cover. It has been giving you some good cover. So I think I'm just going to recover cover. my shells back. That's smart. And then shoot the range four shot at Aiden again. Sure. And he gets heavy cover in a shield this time, so it's a little bad. I completely changed my mind. The stormtroopers that moved up, almost touching the lovely um, bap in front of us. I'm going to shoot them instead. That's, so that's it's ever covering. Sound. I'm going to aim for my first action and then shoot the twin laser turret, which is three blacks, critical one. Okay. And my normal ice pool, which is double rainbow, critical one. Impact will matter here. Into the heavy cover stormtroopers, because if we can hurt them or even suppress them, it can stop them from getting the objective faster. And Aiden heavy cover with the shield, unless I roll really hot again with one aim, I don't think it's going to hurt. That's my logic. Okay, what do we got here? A lot of crits. 
And critical is going to kick in there. A lot of crits. Yeah, this is one of my two criticals. Mm -hmm. It's a good start. We'll spend one aim. We've got two of these bad boys. We still have one more critical to play with. Jeez. Then the last aim here. Guess you didn't really have to worry about Aiden in the aim situation over there. Okay, so we'll lose two to heavy cover. So you're still, still looking a at six pack. pack. Though. Yeah. Holy smokes. This tank came to play today. We're going to block, block four. four. We're going to so two. Two, no so We're going to go ahead and go with Aiden now. She is going to reduce her speed. So we're going to quick think first. So we're going to aim and a dodge for that. And then we're going to do a slight move, just a hair, to get uh, aim from our tactical. And then we will uh, shoot into the ATRT and see if we can't do some, some wounds there. Okay. All right. So I decided to crack her offensive push to get an extra aim too. Um, I have two reds, one black, two whites, critical one, impact one, marksmanship with three aims, surging All the hit, and he does have heavy cover, so that's gonna, gonna come into play here. Probably not. All right, so we got critical one, we've got one crit there, we have two hits because we surge hit. We'll spend two aims to make these two hits into crits, and then we'll spend one aim to fish for a crit. Not gonna get it, so four crits. Four crits. I need at least one paint here. Got one. We break, but we're alive. Oh, oh man, oh, it's the shucks, movement you don't one. get to move. Okay, well, that was that was fun to play with, so we're gonna, just going to go with him. Sure. He is can't move, obviously, because he's hurt or take all of his actions, which we're mm -hmm. not wasting everything. Even though we don't have a great dice pool here, we still have a dice pool. You do indeed. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Check a couple ranges here, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I thought about it. We're going to shoot the um, Inferno Squad because they have no cover since I'm touching this, and we'll right. see what happens. Usually I use my ATR to laser can, not for much for the impact, but for the fire support. But unfortunately, trying to keep Echo alive with a fancy block has kind of hurt me more because I have no way to fire support now. So we're just going to shoot into the Inferno with an aim. Got two so far. Spend the aim. We got three. I'll dodge one. Looking for two. There was a block down there, too. We'll block one, take one. We're going to go ahead and go with Inferno Squadron. They have one suppression. They're going to take it off. That's good. Um, we're going to aim for their first action. Second action, they're going to go ahead and reduce their speed to one. They're going to move back, just back here, um, just to get out of range three of everything else that's here, but stay within range three of the friendly neighborhood ATRT. And then we will shoot into it with an aim. Okay. All right, so it's two blacks for Dell. This is lethal. Uh, two blacks for our regular guy, two reds for Gideon. I have two aims marksmanship into our uh, heavy cover ATRT. Uh, so that's crits. So yeah, she didn't make it lethal. We'll, we'll make two crits and then we'll make it lethal. Okay, he only had one health, so he is dead. We got Cody. He's going to move up for his first action. Sure. We're going to keep him turning in, keeping his like. Well, as much as you can, you need that little corner there to help sure, sure. Help provide some cover from something. We should be within three there. Uh, that is actually out. That's out? Because of your okay. extendo then, stick there. Then we will uh, double check this. Okay, so now we're out of range three, so we're not new to observe because we can't. So we just got two blacks, red and white. Um, and we stormtroopers. That's it. Search crit. One crit. It's lethal, so I don't have any way to make it pierce. Oh, it's just lethal. It's just lethal. It's not, it's not native pierce. Ooh, dead stone trooper anyway. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go with the purple guys here. They're going to recover for their first action. Their second action is going to be a slight move, just, just barely, which gives them tactical because we're reducing their speed to one. gives them tactical and steady, so they get an aim for this. We'll shoot into the fives unit of stormtroopers, which we can see two of them so far, but... Okay. All right, so we did a little really cool hearing so I can see more than just two people, just in case. This is a heavy cover shot into these... Clone Troopers, it's four blacks, two reds, one white, suppressive, and precise two. Surge to hit. So we got the surge there. Still a very good start. And then we'll spend the aim, reroll all three of these with our precise. Uh, we surge there. Uh, two will go to cover. You're looking at four. We have a surge token for my neighborhood phase two is next to him. We'll spend it so we only lose two instead of three. All right. Okay, we're going to go with Five's unit while he has two suppression, because he's got courage too, thanks to him. So let's see if we can get one of these off. We got one off. Yeah, one off. That means we get two actions, which is much nicer than not getting two actions. Generally considered a better outcome to most situations. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Yeah, I think we're going we're gonna to play this smart. I, I'm I'm repairing, right? You break. That blue breaks, red heals. Oh, blue break, red, red repair. So, so I'm going to heal repair. one, repair it. 
if you will. And I'm going to, because I have nothing in range three that I can see at the moment, unfortunately. So I think we're just going to intuit dodge. That's a good plan. All right, I'm going to go to stack. It's a core. Let's go with our single stormtrooper here. He does have two suppression. He's going to hold on to both of them, so he gets one whole action. He's still within three of Biden, so he's small. He panic. still is within three. But he can't get to that map and tap it. He cannot get there and tap it. That is for sure. Um, is he running? Is he touching? Is he dodging? That's my guess is what he's going to do. I think, uh, I think I'm going to go with the good old run. So we will start moving back this way just to see what we can do. Okay, sounds good. Look at my stack. We pull a core. The only core that in order is these guys. They have one suppression, which means they're just getting one action. We're going to take the long way around, I think. Taking the long way. Oof. I mean, I, I think... Yeah, it just puts me puts me right out there. Getting hit a lot. You don't have to worry about it. I'm not going to get shot at. Yeah, I think I am going to come around the back. That's still... Alrighty. Either way, I have to move and touch it next round if I want to do anything. So, yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to move them back to here. Sure. And then that will recohere and be done. Alrighty. All right, we're going to go with our Black Death Troopers here. They are going to reduce their speed, gain tactical, and steady. They're going to move once. And then... Uh, how far can I move here? Yeah, we'll move twice here. And then we will take our shot into fives and his troopers. Okay. All right, so it's going to be four blacks, two reds, one white, two aims, precise, two heavy cover with a dodge, clone, search to hit. All fun runs. Uh, we will spend the first aim on the. It looks like a bad roll if you remember that they can reroll all those in one roll. Oh. We will spend the second aim here. So that will be blank. These two will go to cover. You're rolling for three a after you one. spend your dodge. I think every single death two were shot, you ended up with just one blank after every single attack. That's not good for me. I block one, lose two. Go to my stack. We've got our good old Delta. Delta had recovered, so they recovered their offensive push, and they're heavy, so they're good to go. So they're going to pop offensive push. Sure. We're going to move up to kind of hug this as best we can while still seeing his units. So I'm going to move up somewhere in this said region-ish area, but I want, to, <laughs> I want to look how cohering is going to look. All righty. Okay, once again, this is the long-range configuration. So it's four reds, one for each person. The attack pull gains high velocity and lethal. And critical two, so you're at range one of that. Complete the mission marker. Sure so not, we're looking at... Not the best start. No, because that's going to drop to cover. That is going to drop to cover. So, so one I'm going to have to spend or... the aim and just risk it. So that's there. So it's going to be just two. two. Okay. Higher potential, but lower guarantee. One, same same one, outcome. One, yep. Going to my stack here. It's going to be the Stormtrooper boys. They have one suppression. They're going to hold on to it. Um, it worked perfectly, boys. Yeah, yeah. But you, you really don't. If I move up, he'll be able to uh, to shoot me there. I don't necessarily want that. So we're just going to, uh, we'll just pop a random shot into the tank and see if we can't get a crit. Okay. Two reds, one white, impact one into a heavy cover tank. We're just looking for crits or three hits. One crit it is. Red dice defensively. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're going to go with the last one too. It's just these phase two boys here. We feel like we need to get a little bit more offensively charged here for a second. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring him and just kind of leapfrog the commandos like so. Okay. Hey, -o. And then we're going to Rico here, and we're going to shoot Aiden. Alrighty. Aiden has heavy cover, shield, and a dodge. I think we're going to shoot Inferno. It's, they're going to have heavy cover, but no shield, no dodge. If I can get one wound through, that at least kills a model. It does. It's going to be four blacks, six whites with the Z6. No surging, no critical, no nothing. Just dice. Just dice. That's just, not, just for that's suppression. Just a suppression. And we're going to the stack here. It's the support. We're going to go with the range troopers. They are going to take a shot into our orange friends there. And then uh, after that, what we're going to do is we are going to spur and move all the way back here. Start supporting the point over here with the range troopers. We do get a free aim because we are shooting a trooper unit with our advanced targeting trooper. So we will get that in the dice box. All right, so we got three blacks for our regular range troopers, two blacks, two whites, suppressive for our other range trooper. We got a free aim. We are shooting into heavy cover, orange, phase ones. Uh, we will spend our aim on the two blacks here. Uh, we will lose two to cover, so it's two for those boys and suppressive. Which ones are you shooting, sorry? The orange. The phase twos? Phase twos, sure. Okay, so lose two. We're going to go to the stack here. It's our other support, so we're going to go with these guys. They will spur, and they're going to end up just about right here. We will reco here behind this awesome box of justice. And we will dump everything into fives there, which gives us a free aim from our target. 
uh, advanced targeting troopers? Interesting thing, guys. Uh, just put in the comments if you know the answer. Why, for advanced targeting, does it say before measuring range, you may gain an aim? It is when you can pre-measure at any point in this game, but it specifically says before measuring range. It isn't interesting. Maybe it's just somewhere in the t attack tree. Tr Triming tree, maybe? Maybe just like tree, semantics. Having the range there does something. It's just weird to worry. When I was opening the inbox, I was like, that, that's odd. It's odd. Very weird. Sure. All right, so we've got two whites, two blacks for our, and suppressive for our heavy, four blacks for our regular gun. He has light cover from his suppression, and I get an aim. I haven't checked the cover yet. Guys. It's not great. That's that's not great at all there. So we will spend the aim. Uh, so it's going to be one after cover. I'll just believe him, guys. He's, he seems trustworthy. I wish take a wound. I haven't blocked in a while. It's true. It's true. It's kind of weird. I, I like it. <laughs> All right, last in my stack, which is way over here, is the Stormtroopers. They're going to move up right here, and they are going to do some damage to this Vaporator. Took Don to the last turn of turn two to first touch a Vap. It's true. So he touched one Vap, I touched one Vap. So objective points were tied. Every, everything else, though, it's, it's leaning towards him at this point. He's having no problem mowing me down, and I'm, I'm not defensively rolling or um, killing very well at this point. But a lot could change round and round, and his tactical strike round is over. So let's see how the next round goes. Okay, here we are, round number. You, you haven't changed this one, yet. This is round three, not one. So this round two, round three. three. Doing this while filming with the same hand. Look at that. Man, the talent. Please hold your applause for the talent. <laughs> I tell you. Heiden Verso, she gained sharpshoot two and one aim token at the end of her activation. She gained a dodge and a standby versus attack of the clones. Three clone troopers from Union Station Order using this card. It gains either a surge or may remove a suppression token. I chose to go surgy surge with it. So I directed the tank who will get an aim from a link targeting ray. Gave one of the orders to him. He got a surge. Gave one to five. So he got a surge. I did not coordinate because the only other one in range was that to get a surge. I could have gave one to the commandos technically, but I needed the recover to bring back their offensive push and their guns. So that triggers now so they have everything back to play with again. He gave his to Aiden. One pip, it's three pip. He starts us off. Well, let's just go with Aiden to start off the bat. She has an aim token, so she will quick thinking to get an aim and a dodge. Uh, we will just take a shot into the orange boils right there, and then at the end of our activation, she gets a dodge as standby, so we will see what happens. Okay. She's only range two standby, right? Only range two. Oh, yeah. All right, so we've got two reds, two whites, one black. Um, critical one. Search to hit. Sharpshooter two, so no cover for these guys. Um, and then we will search to... Or this is our critical. We will just marksmanship this to a hit. And I thought it was just Sharpshooter 1. Is Sharpshooter 2 against It's Sharpshooter 2. Oh, my bad. For some reason, I thought it was 1. Okay. No, Sharpshooter 2. No, you're right. You, you play her way more than me. So pretty much no reason for marksmanship, I guess, unless you're attacking. Oh, I guess you could still change like you did. Okay, interesting. Okay, so I'm looking at a total of 5. 5. I have some surges to play with here. Yeah, that's, that's how they've been rolling today so far, guys. Yeah, that's so, pretty not great. Cool, pretty good. We're getting bleak for the Republic, so we need to go with him now see if we can tap this. We do take off one, which brings us down two. Still only one action because he's Courage 2 on a Phase 1 unit. So he will just uh, heal this last one, and then he's just going to just stand there like a that's, man. That's good. Or a coward. I don't know whatever way you're looking at it. All right, we got our stack. It's support. Let's go with these guys. They will spur because we're going to start pushing, pushing some pressure onto this point here. We will uh, Rico here. We will shoot into... I think you can see two These or guys. three. That's we will about it. Go here, this oh, guy. Maybe more now. Now that a I said, should have said it out loud. Help yeah, me out there. Yeah, there we go. This is our fully healthy unit. It's going to be two whites, two blacks, suppressive for the heavy, four blacks for the regular guys. I have an aim. They have heavy cover. Oof. The blacks giveth and the blacks taketh away. I will spend the aim on these two. That's a good conversion, though. They giveth and they taketh, that's for sure. Yeah. Continue that streak. Woohoo. Oof. That's brutal. Turn my stack. We've got the lovely Delta. Delta's going to pop offensive push because it keeps coming back thanks to that recover. That's a that's mm -hmm. a good way to roll. Independent guys. recover is sick. It's 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 kind of cool, especially when you, I haven't had to use my when, shield. When you're, my shield when back your too. gun, your shield, and your offensive push all come back every time you don't give them an order. That's pretty. That's pretty darn tasty. It's it's not bad. It's I mean, pretty I'm not darn tasty. Like, Who are you sure. shooting? Which so do you want to wipe out? I want to get the purple who's still in the range of that lovely complete the mission to get that critical two. Let's do it. Four reds. Lethal one, high velocity, and then we add critical two, thanks to being in range of the complete mission. I gain the aim from offensive push. He has heavy cover. Whoa. Okay. We're just going to spend an aim just, to make that lethal. This will drop just, the cover. Just three bears, one, huh? And they made up for last shot last round. For sure. We'll block one, but it's a pierce, so all the uh, two stormtroopers go down there. We're going to sack. We'll get our purple unit of 
death troopers. They're gonna move up here. We're gonna take a shot into the tank. Heavy cover. See what happens. Into the tank. All right, so this is gonna be four blacks, two reds, one white. Impact one into heavy cover tank. Search to hit, no aims. Um, we do surge hit. So cover is gonna take two. Impact will kick in and give you one. Yeah. Uh, nope, that takes him the trend up. Okay, my boy Cody. Oh, who doesn't have an aim from target. I almost forgot to give him that. He does. I keep calling it tactical. It's definitely it target. target. So just to make that very clear that I don't know. No Walmarts for Cody. It's all target. Wow. Okay, dad joke number two, guys. People come here for the dad jokes mm. and to see me put on salt crowns. You haven't um, put it on in a little bit, though. You've been refusing to. I mean, I put it on for those couple games that I deserved to wear it. Um, so we'll move up to there, and we'll shoot this solo troop here. No! I also observed two on the death troopers. I'm not shooting them, but just in case anyone else wants to. It's free. Red, red, black, white, lethal one, impact one, won't matter. I do have an aim. I do search for crit. He does have heavy cover. <coughs> We're hoping to get a natty crit or enough hits where I can make it lethal and just take this guy out. We did get our one crit. We're going to make it lethal, and these all will fall no, off. No, he's done. We'll go to the stack. We'll get the red stormtroopers. They will do the last damage to this vap here, and then they will take a shot into the tank. Into the tank. So it's two whites. I'm sorry, four whites, two reds, impact one, and then impact two for our weak points on the side. That's 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 a good that's good stuff right there. So this surge is hit. This surge is hit. Cover's gonna eat two, but we have impact two, so it's gonna be three crits into our friendly neighborhood tank. Okay. Haha, -ha, there they are. The tank brought them back. Thank uh. you, tank. Thank you. It, it's nice when it's not just all blank, so that when the tank swings, I'm like, okay, dice, dice come back. Dice, dice are 50-50, right, Don? 50-50. Your dice are always 50-50, right? My generally are not. Here on my stack, we have them. Now Cody's within range of them, so they're not going to panic, but they still may only get one action. One action, indeed. But at least we got the one. They wouldn't have panicked either way, which That's is nice true. to know. What are they doing with that one action? I don't know. I think we're just going to move in a way that uh, makes it harder for you to shoot me. That is a solid idea. We're going to play hide the zucchini today. Hide in some zucchini. So we'll go to the stack here. It's going to be Special Forces. We'll go with our boys, the Inferno Squadron. They are just going to move right into range three. And we'll take a shot into fives. Okay, fives is chilling with one wound left. This could be it. Two reds for Gideon, two blacks for Unnamed Soldier, two blacks for Dell. No, no fun here because we don't have a name. We do search to hit. He's in heavy cover. <laughs> that's that uh, perfectly. not pretty. That's not, that's not bad. Uh, cover's gonna eat that two crits though just to just to recap off camera he's like i'm not gonna even hurt you i'm like you're gonna roll two crits i'll roll one block one blank and he'll die and he said that's not gonna happen so let's see let's see if i can make test that no rude oh close though almost what? predicted it but i'm, I'm gonna almost. live i'm gonna live okay we're gonna go to the tank he thought about moving up a little bit and shooting the range troopers they're in arc so he could have just shot them here if he wanted to tap a shells because they have observation tokens so it's it appealing death troopers or death troopers, troopers sorry but they have searched to block natively that's true and they already went, so I'm like, these range troopers here, though. Have not gone yet. They have armor, not have impacts. So let's see how that goes. Let's take an let's aim first it. action and shoot them. Main gun is a double <laughs> rainbow, critical one, impact two. The twin laser is three blacks, critical one, so they'll have critical two for this shot, impact two, they'll have heavy cover. We have armor two aims, thanks to link targeting rate and tank. Tank has been my only unit that's been, like, super hot for me in this he's game. He's been rolling pretty good fire there. He's been, he's been pretty good. So we used one critical so far. So let's spend this aim for the... The other, there's the, oh, okay, well. That's all you need, I guess. I guess we'll save the other aim for a rainy day. do you have? I have two impacts, so that's, well, hang on. First, we gotta take two off for cover, right? Two for cover, yep. And then we're gonna impact two, so it's all oh, crits. Oh, my armor. armor! Wow, I, did, I, I rolled enough native crits and critical that I negated the armor, so this is gonna be seven. Seven? Seven crits. No problem. Wow. That's no problem that's here. That's a hot tamale. Six, seven red dice, not surging here. We block four. Five. We're about five. five. I'm sorry. Buddy. Take two. Are we going to go to the stack here? It's going to be our boys that just got shot. They are indomitable. They're going to hold on to that, but they're courage too as well, so they're fine. Um, Some of the mentions is going to try to touch this, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we do eventually need to do that. So I think what we do is we, uh, we're we just going to double move. We'll do one spur and Ooh. then yeah, yeah, okay. touch up there. I give him props. He's, he's pushing it. You know, you got to score sometime. I mean, when, if I shook off a perfect <clears throat> critical tank shot, too, I think I'd be gutsy enough to do it, too. So that's pretty good. Possibly. Pretty good. Okay. His last unit is the Death Troopers, which last is probably going to finish off the stack here is the Death fives, Troopers. I mean. We will, again, move these guys forward and make sure we take away his cover down to just his suppression, and then we will take a shot into him. Okay. 
Can Echo or Fives live one more? Echo can't live. We knew that from the first round. But can Fives live? Probably not. Not from a Death Trooper shot. This this magnitude. Your tongues can repel flavor of that magnitude. All right, so our DLT is two reds and a white. And then we are going to throw the range two guns. So it's going to be eight more whites. Surge to hit. Light cover. Yeah, I'm sure I'm fine. So those are the blanks there. You lose one to cover. Rolling for Man, You still rolled 50% white dice hits on that uh, one. That was that a was, really that good was throw. impressive. Okay. You might be mad about this. This is just going to... <laughs> well, I'm not. It's like sometimes, sometimes you know, people... You're all on Team Don's side, which, which does not hurt my feelings at all. But sometimes even I root for Team Don after a few of our matches. So we got five red dice. I have one search token. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So close. <laughs> the, the worst part about that is I think I would have rather rolled all blanks because he was that close. <laughs> Woo, doggy. Don's firepower is coming in hot tonight. Um, I've lost uh, ATRT. A Don really can't kill clones, but let me just run through what he's killed so far. He's killed an Echo Strike team, a uh, Fives Phase 1, a full Phase 2, um, two units out of that Phase 1. So he's hurt every clone trooper except for the commandos. And that's only because he hasn't shot at them yet, which this will change this round because that's pretty much all he has left to really shoot at. So let's see if I can... The good thing is um, we're tied on points for VAPs. This is true. For the moments. Just, just the moment, though. Okay. Okay, ambush versus bring it down. Of course, chance keep rolled and blue player got it. It's Don's side. Don, Don's, Don's got the luck tonight, ladies and gentlemen. During his activation, Commander Clody may perform up to... Clody? Clody. You know, he's a clone and his name's Cody. It works. Free action twice. When a friendly unit declares an attack against an enemy unit that has much reef token, he may spend the unit. If he does, he gains suppressive if it's a trooper and impact if it's a vehicle. I know this has nothing to do with this match, but I keep, every time I see this, I can't help but think they should alter this to impact if it has armor. So, like... Dark Troopers, is, this card is useless against Dark Troopers. No, it's really good against Dark Troopers. It's just completely useless. So he got his he got his um, order. There he is, Cody. And then he went he ahead. He does have target, though. So and directed. Don't about that. That's what I'm pulling out right now. And then that's their shield. That's it. I only have four units left. My other clone units in a little trouble over there. He gave his to the uh, lovely big boys there, Range Troopers, so they can maybe tap it once before they die, I think is his that's, plan. That's the plan. All right, we're just going to go with these guys. They do have one suppression from last round. They are indomitable. They're going to roll it away. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and break this VAP for their first action. Second action, we're going to do the craziest thing ever this game, and we are going to shoot into the Delta people. Shooting Delta. Okay, it's probably not crazy. Probably not crazy. All right, so we got our heavy with two blacks and two whites suppressive and one black dice for our regular guy left. We got an aim because of our targeting computers, and he has light cover and a shield. Mm. That's a that's a good good continue the train, huh? Do I I just I just roll it? We'll spend the aim. Uh, they don't surge. This is gonna go to cover three crits, one for the shield, for two crits. Yep, I don't surge or anything because I'm not at range one of that. Um, if I take two wounds, I will pop the armor, so I only take one. If I take one or less, the armor stays. So we we'll keep the armor, but we lose a guy, which is really sad. Wait, okay. we're gonna go with Delta. Delta's hurt a little bit. They're going to just shoot. They got range two now. So we're just going to go ahead and shoot into those guys. We're not aiming or anything. We're just shooting. Okay. And after the shot, we will recover. Which gives our shield back and retaps all our stuff. So next round, if I want to give him an order, everything's ready to go. There you go. Okay, so we're going to shoot the, the anti-armor gun for fun. Same dice will, but I get impact and scatter, so maybe. So there's three of them left. So it's going to be two, four, six blacks. Impact three with scatter. I have critical two. I don't have any um, aims or anything. There is one of the criticals. Two will drop to cover, and then the impact will definitely kick in before anything else. So your armor will do nothing. All the crits. We have three. Three on my two health boyos here. And they they still kicking. Lose the heavy though. Alright, going to the stack here. It's Aiden. She's just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start moving on up here. We're gonna shoot at the tank. And we'll see if we can't do a damage or two. Sounds good to me. Two reds, two whites, one back, or impact, one, crit, one, and shoot in the tank. Uh, so cover's going to eat the rest, so it's just one crit. Yeah, We'll take it. Hey, Cody's going to go. He's going to move up for his first action here to touch this nice big rock here. Sure, like, sure. Hello, big rock. How are you doing? Uh, he's going to throw out his observe token, observe to two on the death troopers. And then he gets to do it twice with his command card, so he'll throw another two out there for free. Why wouldn't you? 
and then we will shoot them out of cover, and uh, we, we can, we'll spend one to make this attack suppressive. Oh, so much suppression. Two reds, a black, a white, a lethal. Impact won't matter. It is suppressive because I spent an observ observation token. I do have more of these little tokens if I want to spend more. I think I have three left. I we do have one. three left. Oh, yeah, let's see what we get. You have no cover. I just searched a crit. I think I'm going to spend one observation token so far. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. And then we will spend the aim to make it lethal. So it'll be four pierce one because Death, Death Troopers love pierce. pierce. They are not happy. Uh, they'll block Ooh, three, two. but we lose two. Go to the stack here. It is the Death Troopers. We'll go with them before they take any more wounds. We'll roll off one suppression, which was which is a good amount of suppression for them to roll off. And I think we uh, what do we do here. I think we're gonna. Aim and shoot Cody. Aim and shoot and Cody, okay. All right, so we've got an aim. We're shooting into Cody. He will have heavy cover. Uh, we get four whites for our two regular guys, and then one white, two reds for our heavy. We have the sight two. Uh, ooh, the two reds both playing. Okay. But your two whites hit. I mean, that's a good trade, because usually on the reroll, you get them both. There they are. All right, cover's eating two. Cody's rolling for two. Three blocks, one takes one. I'm gonna go with these clones who are kind of out in no man's land at the point. Keep one going. whole action. I guess we'll shoot the uh, uncovered dudes here. Shooting some death troopers. There's just two black, six whites. He's got no cover. Let's hopefully get some good hits here. It's pretty, it's really good. Pretty good. Pretty Wish we good. searched to be even better, but I will take four natively on a Z6 shot. So it's four. Good, good turn through. He does search the defense though, so we need to actually see some blanks on his face. We saw one. All right, one goes down. Got my stack. It's special forces. We'll go with the Darth Troopers here. They have one suppression. They're gonna hold it, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep moving on over this way. Touch that. We'll shoot into our friends that just shot it at us, and we'll go to the next box. Sounds good. All right, so it's gonna be six whites for our regular guys, two reds and one white for our heavy. Search to hit into heavy cover. Clone. Right, cover is gonna eat these two, so you're rolling for three. Ah, oh, it's just enough to kill the unit, huh? And he did. We're gonna go with the tank. Things are looking just beyond dismal. I have three activations left, guys, so we gotta do something crazy. I gotta go for the classic two for one special, risk it all. So we're gonna take an aim for first action. Sure. We're gonna shoot the probably the laser turret into that guy. Okay. The main gun into his death trooper with two observation tokens. We'll okay. spend one making that attack at least suppressive for fun. Let's, Let's see what do it does. Change your mind. I'm like, you know what? I want to shoot a missile at him. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna shoot the, we're gonna shoot the missile. At him. So it's two reds and the white. Critical one, same critical, but instead of three blacks, it's a little bit better dice pool, a little bit. Okay. He's got heavy cover and armor, so we're looking for some crits. All we crits. have two aims. Well, we're just gonna leave that. Crits. We're just gonna two, leave that. Two crits for that bad Hopefully boy. Hopefully, he just doesn't roll two native blocks here. Then that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, okay. Okay. He, he's just doing that then. That's just how this game is gone. It, it really has. So. We're shooting two reds, two blacks, two whites. We spent one observation token for suppressive, but we still have one left on them. Death Troopers going to have heavy cover. This has critical one. So let's use the critical on the whites for sure. Fortunately, Makes sense, yeah. I wish I didn't... there it is. I found it. We'll spend the first aim on the red and black. We'll spend the second aim on the black and white. We'll spend the observation token on the white. And that was just not meant to be, so you're looking at three after all that. Three after all that. Not only did we not two for one, we, 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 he literally didn't roll he, a blank for none me. None for none. I none for none. Go to the stack here. It's the core. We'll go with the stormtroopers. They'll aim shoot the tank. See what happens. Aim shoot my tank. Four whites, two reds, impact two because of the side zone here. Weak spot. Precise forward. one. Heavy cover. Lots of words. So we got that. We need to roll two more hits here to get all three of these to go through. I would normally say it's not them? possible, but, How about all but this them? has so been the case. Cover gets that. Impact is going to kick these two crits. So three crits for the tank. Tank will break, too, because Ooh. why not just have a completely one-sided um, dice? Disabled. Okay. Okay, he's going to go with uh, special forces. Special forces. It's going to be these fellas here. Um, I think we can see Cody. Just the corner of him here. Oh, yeah. We'll aim and shoot Cody. Sure, why not? Four blacks for our other Dell and friend. Two reds for Gideon. Uh, marksmanship. And search to hit into heavy cover Cody. Uh, 
it's just just uh, just all of it. So let's just, let's just we'll just make this another. We'll make it lethal actually. Mm. So it's sure. four four Pierce one. Four Pierce one. I don't think he's impervious. But think he's not. He's got jumpers and stuff. It's okay. I blinked at all of them, so he's dead. Because that's just how this game has gone. I can appreciate that. We go to the sack. Our last guy is going to be these guys. We will do our spur to move all the way forward here. You know it's going well when he's ignoring the objectives and just trying to kill me at this point. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. Mm. Um, we'll take a... Definitely have the range. Okay. Definitely see two. So it's going to be six blacks, two whites, suppressive, heavy cover, shielded, armored, angry guys. We... Uh, We'll spend the aim on these two, and we'll lose two to cover, one to shield. Well, I got my armor still, so he's not killing more than one here. He can't wipe this unit. So we're just going to always another, just take just one anyways. Just one away. Just one. Well, if you're looking on the screen, that's the whole army left versus... <laughs> always a case of he had a good position, some good moves, and also, also I don't care who wants to come. The, the dice completely, literally flipped to I couldn't hit him with seven hits through. He blocked them all but two and then lived through that. These guys shook them off. These guys shook them off. All these clones that were here, I think maybe rolled a combined of two or three blocks. Yeah, they were not Including Cody. Well. He rolled one. Uh, this is um, probably the first game I've ever played against your clones that I have killed that many clones. It's really just a tank that was shaking hits off pretty well. Yeah, I had no desire to shoot at the, the range troopers because I have big range dice pools. You mean and, the clone commandos. Oh, uh, the clone okay. commandos, yes. I have big range dice pools, and big range dice pools, the clone, the clone commandos love big range dice pools for that first shot. So. Didn't... Yeah, so, um, unfortunately, my opinion on Cody and Rex has not changed, where they're the worst options in the Republic. Rex, underneath Cody, in my opinion. Hot take, I guess, in the comments if you disagree, but, um, sorry. Cody's not a big threat. Like, no one's like, oh my god, Cody's about to shoot me. He's got some fun, like, with a tank, it's I mean, fun to always have that direct. He's fine. He's, he's fine. He's a good support. He's fine. He's just nothing scary. Yeah. I like him better than Rex because he can shoot farther and he can actually direct and do other things. Yep. As observe, his, his, I like one of his command cards is really good. One is okay and one is meh. Yeah. Um, the tank is fun, but I think, I feel like right now in, in Legion in general, the, the vehicles aren't the yeah, hottest ar thing. Armor has been kind of really nerfed with... The amount of everything has critical or impact. Everything. Or marksman. Everything. Like it's just like oh, I brought a tank. Well, oh. it's just that too, and there's so many objectives that they can't score help on. It's true. So it's just like you on, on a clone think, list that usually has eight to nine activations. It would usually, be, yeah, it would be it's really hard nice. to have a, a unit or two that don't. It do would anything. be really nice to get another vehicle scoring objective or two in, in the next objectives if they make more objectives kind of thing. Delta Delta's good. Uh, Del Delta's got all. I have nothing complaining against them. They did really good. I had one bad roll, but that was kind of half the game for me where yeah. they didn't roll the reds well. But the sniper with the offensive push and critical two with the complete the mission in the enemy zone was really fun. Yeah, and it's going to be crazy once you get... If you, have, if you have all three of them, so like one delta and then two of the regular, and you have those tokens on all of the points you either need to shoot or defend. Like Yeah, I would have put one somewhere here for the defense bubble right. and two at like probably one there and one there for his yeah, approach. Yeah, it would have been really... That's that's super strong that that nice. token trick, especially since it helps all three of them, not and just one. Yeah, it's it's really good. I, I think they're very strong. Um, I think had you been mean or normal, you would have played a defensive Jedi, which I requested you not do. I originally was going to do an OB defensive build, but he, yeah. I let him kind of give me a little. I'm like, what, what do you want? You want to see? I did not want to see Yo Yoda. Was the thing I told him he could not bring, so I didn't bring that. So I was like, you know what? We'll bring a true clone army. I started with Rex build, but I'm like. Uh, he's bringing range, which I'm guessing he's going to bring all the range if he brings range trooper. So I'm like, Rex is never going to get shot off. So let's not yeah. bring Rex. Poor Rex. Rex needs some help, guys. I he don't know really, what he needs. He really needs a lot. He needs some he help is... at this point in the game. I want to play he Rex. Used, he used to be king of the hill. That's what they, happened. They pushed him right off of the hill. He was king and they had to chop him down. But instead of chopping, that's like true old school FFG fashion where it's yeah. like something strong. Let's just let's just make it not playable anymore. Yeah, they, um, they like to do that for sure. But... I enjoyed the commandos. I think they're going to be really good. I like the keywords. The recover is super good on them because, like, like, oh, no, my gun taps every time I shoot it. Well, I just bring it back for free. Oh, my shield was used. I'll bring it back for free. Offensive push was used. I can bring that back for free. That too. is really going to hurt the actual regular clones. I forgot that that gun taps every time they shoot it. It does. So the regular troopers, I feel like you're going to want to be moving them in a lot faster. But they're clones still, so they can be supported by the rest they of the army. Be, you know, they will be able to get free, you know, aims, sharing aims, dodges, surgery. And then throw in... Delta, like, I think, could play a little bit more in the Throw in Anakin or Padme, mm -hmm. you know, exemplaring them. Exactly. They could definitely... Delta with the infinite courage... 
and the, uh, which I never got to, I was going to do it next round if there was an extra one. Target 2, if you give them an order yeah. on Delta, on top of that shield nonsense, I think they're a little bit better solo with the independent recovery. Yeah, they, they're a good Whereas unit where they can the run other around commandos by themselves. can defensively do fine by themselves so they get the surge to block. Yeah, but, but they want to be by the rest of the, the clone ball. Yeah, um, but I, I think, especially since if you're going to... I think you play the other ones not as much rangey unless you have support because you just move up the couple times you need to use the range mm -hmm. gun. And then once you're in range two, you got your range two gun and you're fine. You don't need yeah. to necessarily tap it every time. But yeah, the, the independence really nice. The range troopers, I said since they since they showed them off that they're they're monsters just because they they've got a range four build there that can shoot. Uh, what is it? It's six blacks, two whites, or seven blacks, two whites for the extra trooper right. with suppressive with a free aim, so you can aim, 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 yeah. shoot with your free is... aim. They're like 80 points. This yeah, deal. they're not expensive. Armor 1, Spur. I mean, those are just some really good keywords. They got Indomitable to help take off that spurring nonsense. Mm -hmm. As you saw, he gave me a fit. Part of that was dice, to be they honest. Also, but they also have Scale, which is scale, super which helpful. Which is nice to get over difficult trains. So you can climb a little they higher. Can, yeah. Um, so I think they're really good. I, I don't necessarily think you're going to see a lot of the heavy, the two red dice one. Yeah, I for mean, its cost for just it's, it's just impact it's one, just right? A, it's just a regular like a regular stormtrooper DLT. It's, it's just impact two one. reds, impact one. If it was impact two, I think you would see it more. But for impact one, for the same cost, I think you want the four dice with suppressive. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, just these guys baseball. do almost nothing against any armor, though. So you're no, just fishing for crits. You didn't roll three natty crits with them. I did roll three natty crits. I, I did play Josh last week at the store with this this exact list, and Josh had an ATST, a tank. Um, a unit of speeder bikes, and then veers in a couple. Well, of the good news besides some fun metal lists or local lists, you don't see pure you don't armor. See in a lot of armor. Yeah. You see more. I mean, the only army that you're not gonna care about your suppressive is the droids, really. But at that point, you don't care too much about the suppressive keyword. You're more about the dice pool. Even the droids, though, once you start throwing four, four or five suppression on something, that's it's, true. It will hurt them it's eventually. It's not gonna be but... happy about it. So, yeah. But yeah, the sculpt on these guys totally awesome. The build was really cool for them. Um, the The fact that each of their chunky boots is two pieces, like, I mean, most of their bodies is two pieces, and then they're like, the boots need to also be two pieces. Yeah, I showed it off in the uh, box unboxing that's posted now, but the one thing that was cool about the range troopers, for those that didn't watch that video, is that, I'll show you here too, as best I can with one hand, is that each of the range troopers, so here's the sniper, for example, each one has the, oh, I dropped, let me try again, has the other gun option. So there's the, anti-armor heavy it fits exactly in his, his hands the same exact way and here is the regular gun so each gun you come with four of each gun you can put each gun on each model and it's just part of their arms so it's doesn't change the pose it just changes what gun they're holding which That's is really, really cool neat, yeah it's nice because i didn't realize this at the time until i was looking at the card art and stuff that the gun is just it's the same gun just with attachments added to it to make yeah. it so they swap why, out the like heavy laser in the front for the armor. That's why the they Deltas off, always have their backpack because yeah. their gun needs so many different parts. They take off, they add the barrel and the stock to make it the range, or they just have the regular one. So it's really cool. So you can build it up with all four guns, no, all four of the regular guns. You can mix and match. And the commando scalp is just awesome. Like the the um, shatter points. The, the base is dry now. It's one of my favorites. Like they're they're a really cool sculpt. Yeah, they're they're really good. I really enjoyed <laughs> painting them. I did this one. It's classics, kind of blue visor, black and white. I'll do one delta, and the other one I'll eventually pick up. I'll do another, just black and white, because I like the look. I'll do the rim of the base different. This one will have a black rim. The other one might have a gray rim, so I can distinguish them. But yeah, really cool. Two new units added to the game. Um, I think they're going to have a a pretty immediate impact. I don't think they're going to be minor impacts. I think they'll really help change some things. Mm -hmm. Clones already had a defensive build. Now you can make it even more defensive if you want yeah, to do that. they're going to be real. Like, in the Yoda ball, if you throw just two two of these guys in there, you, they're almost invincible. The funny thing is, the only thing, the one negative I will say is being the support. When you're running, like, one or two of them with one or two special forces, you're making it harder to pull what you want is the only, it is is the only it, downside. It adds variance to your stack. Yeah, because this is not an army like Rebels where I can run three special forces, three supports. You don't have the points if, unless you're going to run everything else naked. So... It's the only, probably the only thing. Sure. I think everything else about them is really good. You also pick up a second, another slot too with the deltas over. You get two of the um, training slots, yeah, which is nice. So, but I'm curious, you guys, what you guys want to run on them? I think offensive push is uh, is really glued to delta if you can, especially for delta because they have independent yeah, coverage. Independent so recovery. Just... You pretty much always have tactical. Just always. Yep. Just yep. Keyword of the tactical. day was new units. New units. New units. Make it nice and simple. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of the video. Thanks to all those people who have, for the last several videos, commented. If they would like to see Don have a dice game go his way, 
this is what you guys got. This is what your comments, your hard brought <laughs> comments, have given you one game where Don's dice really outdiced Joe. It's true. It, it did big time. I, I'm proud of you. The um, I will tell you when you guys watch next week's video. It was supposed to air today that you're watching this one, but we wanted to push this one up so we could see right. it. So we filmed and edited it fast. So if you hear us referencing right. an unboxing these, coming these, up soon, we're talking about this. The, these guys, both of us painted and did all of this stuff today. Yep, today. They were all done I was supposed today. to be working and I did it. That's why this base is not fully done, well, but they're done. Hopefully your your boss doesn't watch the channel. Yeah. <laughs> I was definitely working all day. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye.